Hello everyone and welcome to today's gaming test of the new Galaxy A73 5G. This phone is using the Snapdragon 778G chipset which is a very powerful chipset as what we have shown in the Galaxy A52S gaming test that we did late last year. So before we do anything, we we'll first head into the settings menu, enable developers option, scroll all the way down to enable GPU watch. I'll just leave everything in default because that is good enough. And then we'll head into the game launcher menu and then head into the settings and go into labs and enable the alternate game performance management option so that we can get a much higher thermal limit to get better performance. And then we'll head into game plugins menu here to max out everything so that we can increase the render resolution of our game so that it looks better. And then finally we can launch Genshin Impact. And we can see here, it defaults to low graphical quality, so we'll proceed with that at 60fps to see how it runs. And as we can see here, it hovers somewhere around the 50 FPS mark, which is surprisingly well. And we can see that the render resolution is at 1920 by 864, which is actually very high in terms of the render resolution, very close to the native resolution of the phone too. And then we change it to highest graphical quality at 60 FPS to see how far we can push this phone.
Surprisingly, we can still get about 40 FPS which is surprisingly good for a mid-range smartphone like this. And the temperature of the phone is also really good as we can see here, it only reached somewhere slightly higher than 42 degrees Celsius. And at the back of the phone here, we can see that the hottest spot is somewhere at around 36 degrees which is surprisingly low. Heading into PUBG New State, we can once again set everything to the maximum so we'll just proceed with that. We can see here that PUBG New State ran consistently at 60 FPS throughout the entire game without any issues at all. Heading into COD Mobile, we can set the graphical quality and frame rate to the absolute maximum available here, which is good. And then we also scroll down to enable everything, but we leave God Ray turned off because we want anti aliasing.
Once again, COD Mobile can run at 60 FPS, no problems at all. Heading into Mobile Legends though, we have an interesting option here. The refresh rate can go up to Ultra. We'll leave it on Ultra refresh rate because that means this game can run at 120 FPS on this phone. And as we can see here, the Galaxy A73 5G kept Mobile Legends running at 120 FPS without any issues at all. And that's it, that's all we have to share with you about the gaming performance of the new Galaxy A73 5G with the Snapdragon 778G chipset. I really like this chipset because as you can see here, it performs really well. It's actually one of the best performer in terms of mid-range chipsets. And our full review of the Galaxy A73 5G will come soon. So do subscribe to our channel and we will see you in that video. Goodbye.